I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. I don't think Frank listened to my cleaning advice. It's not funny anyway. How can all of this not be connected to a major storm? blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank... We didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to, and I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... D dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog isn't. He got out of the RV and a motherfucking big rig hit him. I beat that fucker down. God, Frank. Oh, that's awful. Uh, how... how is he? 
little bastard is lucky to be alive. Again, like you give a shit. Oh, Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's how we got out. You did it, are you crazy? That's my dog! Wait, that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here! And I'll spin you on your ass! What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. Let's just don't talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! Step the fuck back now! Oh my god! Gosh! You, you actually shot me! I wasn't gonna hurt you! Oh, this fucking hurts! Oh, it hurts! Chloe! You shot him! I know. You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... we just want the code for your account book. Now! Define! Whatever! Just... just put the goddamn gun down! You already shot me, alright? There. Now leave me alone, alright? Just... just get out of my life! Do you want us to call an ambulance, or...? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. Shit. This could have gone way worse, but Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. Yes, Max, you can change all this if you want. Chloe, are you okay? Sorry, I, I just keep thinking about shooting Frank in the leg. Please don't. You saved us. Frank is lucky. We have to keep moving forward. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Hmm. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great, now how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Okay, let's find out whose car this is. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. Huh. 
Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Oh, yes. Now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. There has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Let's start hacking. I'll score! Now let's check out all the messages from the week Kate was drugged. Yes, uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan, you're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out. Asshole. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Not much out there. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just a shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. <laughs> 